all right i doubt that'll stick but that's okay it's still in this this area here where they can pull it worse than the worse there we go i feel like it's gonna go and pop itself back off the adhesive but that's okay all right so there we go let's angle this to where we were i got twisted this guys won't let me i guess Aiming at the number one. And a lot of people say you can push it from the inside. I mean, pull, push it from the inside. I barely was able to get my finger through the foam. <laughs> Did it just change circles on me or what? Let me go ahead and make sure I station this and do it right. I need two fingers to support all levels. So let's go ahead and do that. Better safe than sorry. Go and pull this mat again. My little cardboard mat helps a lot. All right, so here we go. Oh, by the way, chair. Give me one second. All right, here we go. Look at that. Pointless, right? Just pointless. <laughs> if that is the case, then we just, just put this out as misery and put it out of the way. We can always remember, oh boy, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> I literally put it out of the way. Let's see here if I can actually get it easier. I could, but I just hate to do it this way. This thing is, this little brown thing is more trouble than it is helpful. Don't want to scrape anything. There we go. Oh, just give it a good tug out. There we go. There we go. Why don't we just leave it like this hanging here? So if it ever touches it, it touches it. There we go. See how I center it right there? <laughs> like, you come and face me. I'm not going to go back chasing you. Okay, so let's go and put this guy in here. Again, there's only one spot he could fall into. And there it is. That's the spot. Just kind of give it a good final flattening of my PPF to make sure the corners are nice and sealed. Again, these are freshly laid, so... I gotta be really careful. There we go. And then, okay, what is here? You guys probably don't know this. I know I'm very detailed. If you, let's see if I can lighten it up. You see there? Uh, it's not, it's actually, you see how it gaps in? It goes through these little holes right here. You can see the top right there. Right there, lighten it up here. It goes underneath there like this, but this thing right here feeds into this little thing right there. So you never want to get your screwdriver in here and jam it up there for it to be able to release itself out. And then just see that slowly but surely. See that? Now you know you got it in the position. Then you just, well, let me get the light back down to normal. Then you can just go ahead and give it a good push and you're all set. It's like finesse, there's no need to force anything there we go nice 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 uh -huh. beautiful uh, gotta be careful with all these little lift areas it's okay if it ever lifts all the way it's under warranty They'll replace it, but man, this sure is a beautiful PPF. Again, if you're ever up in the Bay Area or you want to go and get quality PPF done, uh, talk to Albert there in Audi Fremont. It's called PFS, stands for Protection Film Solutions, or I think it's protection or it could be Protector Film Solutions, but it's it's pretty much that way. You can always search for it, Yelp it. That's it. They're right there off of Auto Mall Parkway in Fremont. When you exit, just go toward, you know, where uh, Chick-fil-A is around that area, a block further. 
uh, there's a shopping center, caddy corner, and then there's an Audi dealership. You can't really miss it. You'll see the Audi dealership there. And just go ahead and pull in there and just tell them, hey, you want to get, you know, paint protection film put on your car. And they'll actually walk you through the dock area where Albert's probably, Albert and his crew is there. So, yeah, we got that part done. That wasn't that bad, right? Now it's just time to tidy up a little bit and start pulling the cables and so forth. In fact, before we tidy again, like I, like I said, look at this. See this thing right here? It's not really much to tidy. It just goes. That's why I prefer to have it all the way back here because it was just swung, swung back there. You can maybe neaten it up a little bit, like right there maybe. As long as it doesn't get overheated, I guess it's still okay. But I wouldn't want to touch anything. I would just probably start tie strapping it here. Let's go ahead and get our wires down and see where things are at. So let's go and get the rest of this guy here. And the motor and everything else. So this is it. This is, this is the most intimidating part when we start unleashing all these wires here. Then we're really going to see what we're made out of. Who knows? It might not be that bad. All right. So... I guess we could put this styrofoam here. I did a vacuum, by the way, too, all the way down the there. I just saw some, there's like rocks and crits and stuff like that. Well, since I have it out here, I was able to see everything underneath. So that was kind of cool. All right, so we could connect the power supply and everything, but there's no need to right now. I think the best part is just trying to get all the wires first latched off. And then our ground wire we're going to connect to is right there. So we'll put the ground there and our positive right there. We'll mount the motor right here. And we should be good. We should be really, really good. So I'm going to face this back here again where I sort the wires here, what we have. You guys going to be able to see it. Okay, we got this bundle here. And then this is the power supply bundle pretty much. This is it. This is mainly for the power. See that blue one right there? It goes into the head of the, the blue color here, what we talked about yesterday. See that right there is blue. I mean purple. So it just goes right there. So that's it. It's all that's made just for the power and the, the mount it on. So what we'll do is we'll leave this guy here. So there goes is the cross elimination. So this guy right here pretty much is power to the brain CPU unit. All this is just power, so don't be intimidated. By I think all of this power. Yeah, the fuse line and everything here, and it connects to this guy right here. So we'll put this guy up here. We'll, we'll definitely go base and touch with him later. I put him in the wrap because I don't want to scratch anything for right now. And then the only ones we have to worry about left in the box is the speaker wire, which is going to be there as well. So we can probably put this back in here, but we'll remember that. Now this is the one that's just, it's just, that's it. This is really the only wire that you have to really configure all this right here. And everything else just comes together and plug into the CPU. The stress will have its own wires and so forth. So if you isolate it, there's only really two sets of wires that we need to be concerned about this bunch here which don't worry and then this one right here so thanks to larry lee i kind of watched his detail video uh frugal tesla i give him credit again uh, to kind of get an idea where these wires go so everything pretty much latches off like this guy right here um, let's go tilt it up a little bit so we'll do what we know and then we'll figure out the rest because they're color code anyway you can't plug it in wrong um, and they're only certain size that fits certain ones. So, okay, so we're gonna pull this off. It seems like this one right here, I guess we can see like the way it pushes. It's from underneath, there's a little latch right here. So you, let me go and put this down a little bit. Okay, so you gotta push this little latch here underneath and pull, pull from the side and that's it. Right there. You can just see that little latch right there. You just push down with your finger and then pull out. Just pull vertically out. I mean, uh, well, horizontally out. Pull horizontally out. Okay, so that one's done. And what that one is, I believe it joins to one of these guys here. So this one joins it. So this one joins into here. You can see they look exactly the same, right? The one that came from the harness and the one that comes here. So let's go ahead and unravel this. Let's go ahead and unravel this. <laughs> this is the this is the intimidating part. Once all this is unravel, like, uh, <laughs> Like Frugal Tesla said, it looks like a, a working bunch. <laughs> Look like a bunch of mess. Okay, so here we go. Be careful, there's, it might, some might drop. All right, so in fact, I could probably do slowly one by one. So again, we, we found it here. Uh, what is this wire called? It's pretty much called, uh, I believe it's called the signal. 
Yep. So you can see it. Let's see if I can get resolution on that. You guys can see it. There we go. Signal. Struts plug. Oh, signal status. I'm sorry. Signal status plug. I don't have really good eyesight. Signal status plug. Okay. So what it is, is it's going to use this to adapt to this one. And this one joins to the other one. Seems like, you know, understandable enough. I'm going just by visual here. And then plug this guy in here. You see how I plugged that one in? Okay, you plug this one in here. Again, it's still part of the bunch. It's not broken away yet. This is still the bunch here. So, here it is. That's the first one. I guess if we don't unravel everything, it makes it a little bit more, more or less intimidating. <laughs> so, there it goes. There's a little slit here that's already cut from previous. You can see there's a little slit right there. And that's why I'm actually poking it through. Don't want to make any new slits. I think this is where it was. Okay. Well, anyway, I think we got to poke for, for, you remember again, this one needs to go underneath. It's how we pulled it. It's how we're going to uh, pull it back. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and just go vertically straight in. Click, snap. That's it. And then we're going to go ahead and run this wires right here through here. Cool. Nice and clean. And... So hopefully what I want to accomplish here, in addition to Frugal Tesla's video, I guess, it's kind of help elaborate the, the details of me learning how to do this from what I got from the video, but this is a little bit more focused into the area. So I'm going to go ahead and try to talk it from doing installation as well as a narrative. Okay, so that's it. That's all I can see right here. And Frugal Tesla did an amazing job. I really appreciate that, gentlemen. Um, He's up in the Bay Area too. I asked him one time to if he ever wants to hang out because he actually stopped by Merced on the road trip. And I was saying, oh shoot, you're in my Merced County. You know, um, that's why before, you know, I knew he had family too and everything, he's taking them out. So I just like to hang out with Tesla people sometimes. They do a lot of great uh, things with their car and trips and stuff. I We learn from our community, that's what I'm gonna say. So this is my way of uh, giving back to the community as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and, you know what, there's a little piece that's, bugging me here this little white duct tape it seems like they have them scattered loosely here and there tesla so i'm just gonna take it off it's like these white duct tapes that you find from you know they don't have any labels on them and they just look shabby i'm not sure they're left over maybe don't need to be anymore because they don't look like they're in anything exposed when i peel them off so i guess they're safe to take off okay so we got that part now let's go to the next corner let's see how far this guy extends and the rest of these are going to go into the brain so don't worry about it. this goes to the speaker so we really got to just worry about these two wires, really, the, the blue and the yellow. You see the yellow one right here? This also has the Y shape. So if you look at it thoroughly with me, I think the rest of this is going to go back to the CPU, sort of. Uh, sort of. This one's going to go to the speaker to give you the sound so you know what setting you're in. Either slow closing of the trunk, frunk, I mean, or, or faster or such. And then, again, this probably goes, again, to the frunk signal. So this goes to the CPU box. This might not, so this thing, we probably need, still need to put this somewhere. Oh, actually, this is the one that they don't use. I remember one of these they don't use, so we'll figure out which one. Uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. And they're all sort of labeled. So let's see what this one says. If it's lighting, design plug, oh, debugging plug. So this is probably the one. There's one of them that says lighting that they don't use, I saw, but uh, I guess they don't have them anymore. Maybe it was this plug here that says debugging. So this must be the one that we don't use. Don't quote me on this yet. We'll figure it out together, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go and move this to over there now. This is gonna be this side here in this corner. So let's go all the way over there. You guys can see me? I can see you. <laughs> no, I can't see you. All right. All right, here we go. All right, so this one's going to be a little bit more wedged to get out again. The same concept, I believe, but this one might be lifting versus pushing down. They all have their own uniqueness, don't they? You can see from the original, it seems like you might have to lift in order to get this guy off. So what we'll do is we'll have to lift that guy as well. So I'm going to go and put my finger in here, and then I'm going to pull it backwards. And um, this is where I arched my back again. I just 
Let's try and relieve myself as much as I can as far as sitting down goes when I can. Okay, so here we go. I'm careful not to pull it. There we go. Came off pretty easy. All you do is gotta put some more force in this and lift up and then eventually when you put force in this, you'll probably yank it back anyway, so it helps out both ways. So that was easy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this guy back. Here we go. And again, save this because it's gonna be joining to this side. In fact, here I can join it right now. Everything looks pretty clean. We can unlatch it. So there it goes. Again, you can't really mess up. It just seems like they make it sort of my proof, dummy proof. There we go. And then this guy right here will we'll go into here. I know Hanshaw is watching me, so I'm almost sort of doing a job interview with them. <laughs> if I'm going to be a certified installer here. All right, here we go. I'm sure they'll be pleased. Okay, now getting it back on might be a different story because I don't get to see the angle where it's coming from. But I can almost kind of... You might want to put two fingers like this and just feel a little bit better and push when you can. There we go. There we go. Snap. Make sure you hear a snap or else it's not all the way flushed in. There we go. Very nice. See, there you go. That was it. And the main part, I guess, the rest might be just... There, continue on where we left off. It's a few more bundle wires. See, if you actually put them together and they're not scattered everywhere, you're not that intimidated. So it kind of helps to get organized. Well, that's what my comfort zone is anyway. So you can see here, this is the remaining bundle. That's just left anyway. So process of elimination here. <laughs> what do we got done so far? Now this has to be somewhere too. This gotta be somewhere. Okay, let's figure this one out. Just looking through it. See what this one says. Debugging plug. This might be the plug that they, uh, they said they might not use. And I know this one goes to the CPU and this one goes to the speaker. So this might be the very plug that, like I said again, they're not going to use. So that might be it. Oh, we got the switch one already, right? The switch one has to have a plug too, by the way. That's the one it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the switch one on. The switch one we have to bypass, and this is probably it. There we go. So. That was based on watching Larry's Lee's video here. So this is it. We're gonna pull this sucker out here. You can see here it goes only a certain way. I believe this just pulls out straight or there we go. A little harder to pull out, but there's not really any kind of release latch or anything. You just have to pull it by force. But there it goes. See how shapes of it? I'm sure you can see in the camera. This is my, the one that's bundled with the wires and everything. And you have your female coming back in. So it's always like joining and then coming back and rejoining. So we're gonna go and put ours in there. This is this original, this is ours. There you go, and we're gonna put the female. This is your trunk push hatch here. All right, so here we go. Put that one there. We're gonna come back with the original and put it in right here. I think once you watch this video, you probably won't need me nor Larry Lee if you really wanna spend the time and go through this. Uh, at first watch, it was very intimidating. I didn't think I could even do this front part, and I haven't done it yet either. So maybe I'm counting my eggs too soon. So <laughs> the, so far, I think we got it. Let's just give it a push. Maybe I don't think so. Oh my God! There's still power to it. How? How is that possible when we didn't connect power to this line or harness at all? Oh, you know what it is? It's getting power through here. So it's a, it's independent power. So there it goes. Now we learned something. Independent power. There was no power. Pretty much this wasn't connected to the main brain yet to get all the power it needed. So I guess this has independent power. Actually, it's just lighting up when I push it, didn't it? Try to push it one more time. You can see that? See how it actuates? I'm not sure how this will come into play, but I'm sure this will work. Be careful moving parts, mechanical. Don't want to jam your finger in anything that you're not aware of, like I just did. Just in case it desires to do things differently. Okay. So you can see here, we did a pretty neat job. Now we can unravel the darn thing and see where it's at. So let me go back a little bit further out so you can see where I'm at. See, this is all we have left, really. 
You know, I have my runaway chair to worry about. Let me go and get my arm out of this way. It's just give me a second. You guys can see. I want it face down a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see everything there. Okay. So this is pretty much it. This was, uh, and then the rest is just pretty much connect to the speaker, connect the struts to the brain, and we should be good. So this is really what we have left. And I think I can figure out the rest now. Again, this is coming from a person who just watched the video like you guys are doing and doing it myself. So you guys can follow with me. If I can do this, you guys can definitely do this. Um, but if you just don't have the time, you know, you're more than welcome to, uh, you know, ask for our service. We will be available. Who knows, you might be able to provide the service to others too. Hopefully we can expand this, help each other out in different areas. That way people don't have to travel so far for expertise installation. So there we go. And just want to make sure I do it right and make it look good as well. So anything kind of bunched up or anything, you can see here, this is the only remaining left and this goes to the, the speaker, buzzer, they call it buzzer. Right there, I'm not sure you guys can see it yet. Buzzer, and this remaining part uh, goes to the front signal plug, which is pretty much in the CPU itself. The CPU right there. So state signal, the white one goes to the white one right there see not that hard right sorry you can't see it there you go all right so as we go it's amazing uh, so there's it just want to make sure this gets out of the way we already know this is going to go to the cpo so we want to tilt this wire to the right hand side as possible and the rest we can start tying it down where we need it to be i just threw it over there in the right corner Okay, now we can start really looking at how we're going to tie this neatly. I know this is going to, this right here, I just don't want to get intertangled in any other thing. So if I need to unplug it again, I will. This looks like it's still tangled between the yellow wire here. So I'll have to unplug this guy for a second. Shouldn't be a hard interlock, right? Wow, it really gets in there. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, that's not really tangled there. It just seems that way. Okay. This one is going over or under. Prefer it to not be tangled anywhere else. This is where my pet peeve is trying to make things neatly. Even though it doesn't seem that important yet, just to me it does, because I don't want it to go over or under anything. So if I'm going to take this under, I'm going to take it under. So let me go and bring this bushel wires back underneath it. There we go. Go back over there to the right corner. And this is which one we're going to tie down over here neatly. This trunk's going to stay lighted up. Now we can actually do some some nice um, tie down here. So this is good. We can just tie this blue wire with it to kind of help with this guy right here. So maybe that'll be our first tie down. Just I want to go under, tie it down there. Okay. So let's go and get those small little tie straps that they provided. Thank goodness they provided that because I didn't buy these ones. Okay, so here we go. That's why I want to do it last, the tie down part. In fact, let's see, should I put more strength in this guy here, this area too? Prevent it from, yeah, I think we should put a little bit one here as well. So let's go and start from this one. Something to support it, you know? Okay. So we're gonna go this route, all of them. It's fine with me. <laughs> These things are like floss. They're so thin. 
I'm not even sure if I'm doing the right direction because they're so thin. All right, there you go. Very neat. Look at that. The first bunch right here, and they compress. So uh, you don't have to do them that hard, but if you want to, you can. But not really much. Oh, look at that. That's what happens. These things are so uh, so light. You can pull and break it. Let's see where the other piece went. I hate having particles. Did I get it all out? And I got roll weight here. <laughs> I gotta figure out something better for the chair. If he's wanting to roll away, maybe tie it or something like a dog chain or something <laughs> for my chair uh, go right here it's just like maybe it broke this that little head part huh I mean I'll just vacuum it we'll pick it up somewhere along the line Lease is plastic. All right, let's try this again, shall we? I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go this way too. This way will work too as well. I try to keep it consistent. When I'm going this way, I have to go this way all the way. Or should I go this way? This way probably might be just as easy. All right, here we go again, part two. Uh, give it some slack as it, if it needs it. So I'm gonna bundle it up. As I can. All right, we learned our lesson from the first one, right? This is mainly cable. Hopefully, this doesn't get caught up in anything. All right, so let's go ahead and snap it. with with these guys. Okay. I think this is good. Keep it consistent. If I'm going one direction with the tie strap, I keep it consistent through all of it. Alright, so let's see how we this nicely keep it uniform again that's just my pet peeve you guys can probably rush this if you guys don't care about it kind of like a uniform kind of measures up you know uh, still not there yet so we still got ways Could probably cut it afterward all in one shot instead of lifting the uh, lifting the <laughs> Pliers back and forth. Well, I do that. That way, I can, we can start moving. Okay, now this part here is where it's mainly concerned. There's a little thing here, but this is like a dead end. You guys probably see it. it again. <laughs> Not sure you guys can see that angle. But it's looking pretty nice. Oh man, I didn't even change the resolution for you guys to capture it. There we go. See that? So we're coming along. We're coming along. We're just gonna route it neatly, looping around. Sure, this is actually helping my back or making it worse. Or I think it's making me tired more. 
uh, my little <laughs> my little thing here. I guess sitting down, this does not very work well. It's only when you're arching, this helps a little bit your back. So if you're sitting down comfortably, oh yeah, it's a relief. This is much better. Do what you can, because it seems like it's uh, tight. Go underneath the wires. You'll feel it, you'll see it. Back here, I'll show it to you. Let me take it off of this thing here. Should leave that guy there. You guys can see that. See that right there? That's where I'm going underneath. I'm gonna give it a good pull. Pull a little bit more. See how it meets up with this other guy here. So you can do a good job and just, you know, help it. I went on the other side so it doesn't pull this way. But I'll be able to straighten out the wire as soon as I get a little bit closer. There we go. Give it a good thug. There it is. Our switch is still there, I believe. Let's see how this one goes. I might want to tie strap this whole thing like together right here. Alright. Ooh. Here we go. Still have one here. A little bit of residue tape still here. Huh. That's weird. There you go. This one goes to the power as well. So I'm glad we forget, almost forgot to bundle this. So this guy right here will make it. I believe there's a gray for the motor right there. There's one of them, there should be two, right? There's two grays right here. Soft close automatic door. This is pretty much where it latches. So, it's gray color. One of them goes here. We found the, the two prong one with the fatty. Maybe it's a new setup now that we're able to integrate one. Or maybe it's still somewhere here. But this is all we got, so this is it. We'll unravel this. Uh, we should unravel it now because we might need to extend it and take it back to the brain. So let's go and do that as well. But yeah, you can see here how am I just tie strapping it as I'm going. Could have got this one in there as well because we're probably going to make to this point. We're going to drag it across to meet up with the brain unit there. So sorry, turning it upside down. Hopefully it's not upside down. <laughs> I believe this is where... I last had it or not, who knows. Sorry about that, I'll flip it back. There we go. Oh boy. Let me go ahead and uh, make sure it's not upside down. I, I don't want to record the whole video upside down for you guys. I believe it is it. But just to be double check. Oh, actually it might be upside down now. <laughs> there we go. I can tell now because the reading should be in the bottom. Okay, here we go, continue on. I'm gonna go unravel those wires. And my other wires are giving me a little bit of trouble. Probably wanna get this going quickly because if we're gonna do the frunk anytime before Thanksgiving would be nice. Uh, because I plan to take this car out and then show the family the setup. It's gonna be so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and unravel this guy here because he needs to go now. Starts moving. Thought there's gonna be at least two of these, so I'm not sure if they changed the wiring on it or what. But since there's one, then that's all we can do is one. They're always improving the system, so it could be possibly. I really thought there was gonna be two of these, but I'm missing something. Maybe the gray one's coming out from somewhere else that I'm not aware of. But so far, I only see this one has only. Yep. Only this one. That's it. That's all that's coming out of it. Nothing else. This is dead in. And this is dead in. So I don't see anything else, you guys. You guys can see there. Don't really see anything else. But I really want to get, start wrapping this in there neatly. Join with the rest of the bushels. I like how they get this little extra cloth thing here pretty neat yeah so if you imagine if you unravel all this you probably get confused so I recommend just doing it slowly take your time 
you know, if you're not doing a video like me, you can take much more time and actually concentrate on it fully. All right, so I could have wished I did had to and put this guy in there with it, but it's too late for that. I'll have to catch it on the next one, which is probably, in fact, you know, I can still do it. The reason why I want to do it is because this helps alleviate the weight a little bit, I guess. I guess, who knows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another tie strap right here. Or actually maybe a little bit more mid, midway, like, like right here. So more is holding it. So we'll meet it up in, in this section right here. I'm glad they gave me a few more of these small ones. These are perfect just for this area right here mainly you need it for. The big ones you can tie them to the beam eventually. But tying to other small wires like these, these are perfect. Now this one here. Oh, it's, getting, it's getting messy now. Don't let it fool you. Okay, just want to make sure we know where we're at. All right. Sometimes it's good to separate them apart. We get a really idea where they're going. Okay, so there we go. There we go. I'm gonna do it this way. Keep on keeping on. First of all, let's go and get this through the loop. This one has a lot more bushels. We just freed up the other one. So I'm going to pull this strength to the same slack that it needs from the other one. That way it has the same equal slack. And bring the blue one out for forward. Again, this is just my pet peeve. You guys don't really have to take this seriously. You know, however you feel good about organizing your wires and cables, should be good enough. Okay, there we go, I got that one there. Oh good, this might slam a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, this might work, it might not slam too much. All right, so we got that there. And we are going to have extras, that's just the way it is. Uh, if you look, I'm going to yank it back. Because I'm, I'm, I'm working toward cleaning it from the, from the plug to the tail end here. So you can see here. Oh, we got to probably put one more. I should put this yellow one with there. But oh, actually it's supposed to go backwards, right? Like, oh. This might be... Well, it's supposed to be under and over. So that's probably right. Be under and over. I think we got. I'm gonna pull this yellow one back up, make it look big, a little bit neater. Yeah, let's see here, I'm fitting in this area now. I'm sure you guys can see it. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull this so I can go under and over. Wow, I start early in the morning now, the sun's already up. <laughs> I started since 6 a.m. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Comes off pretty darn easy. Yeah, I'm gonna go over this thing here. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go underneath, I mean. There we go, get it back, then go over it back. So that's what I meant to say. So that's why I saved it, so don't tie everything down yet. Female to male. And then, let's see how this crisscross or anything like that. Just don't like wires crisscrossing. Easier to see. This is the motor plug. This is what actuates the motor. And two finger, once you get it to a level, use two two fingers to help guide it smoothly in. Once you feel where it's supposed to be at.
kind of hard because you're relying on a certain angle. There we go. Almost let snap. Perfect. These wires are really nice quality ones too. They look very thick. Almost like um, like you go you know by gauge wires, the smaller the number, the thicker it is, is actually the opposite. So a gauge one wire is really thick like this. A gauge 10 may be a little bit like a, I think a quarter of a dime. And these guys right here, they look like at least a gauge 20 or 16 wires. So they're still pretty thick. They're not like the typical eight gauge or, I mean not eight gauge, sorry, uh, 24 or, or higher the number, the thinner they are. So it's really neat. All right, so where we go. We're still, I think we're good. We're on track. We're almost catching on to everything else. That way you don't have a whole bunch of wires bundled. I think we could start bundling it somewhere, maybe even here instead of over there. The reason why I say that is because I don't know if I want to put it here on the side here. So we could probably start bundling the wires here if we, if we can find out how much wires are left. Then we can just hide it underneath here, you know what I mean? I think it'll probably be much more nicer. It'll be lesser visible on this side. So why don't we do that? Let's start plugging in the motors and everything like that and the speakers and see how much slack we have here and then we'll determine. So we turn it around. So this is it. Look at my chair here. This is what I've been chasing. Uh, oh, put them there. All right. Okay, so we got this bad boy here. We got everything connected here that we wanted. We're gonna cut all this little small strips in just a second. But let's go and mount this guy here. So let me go ahead. The battery terminal is right there too. You guys can see. All right, so what we're gonna do, this is where, it's good for me to put my belt on. <laughs> my black belt. Be careful, don't scrape your, um, your fenders. If you have anything, try to wear like something like a, sweats sweatpants or something so i'm gonna be really careful leaning over but this is the only way i could do it with supporting my back uh, spine so if i can do this with a bad prop back problem you guys can do it too <laughs> all right so here we go you want to put some adhesive tape uh we're going to use our 3m it's really cold though unfortunately um you could clean the surface some more with alcohol rub so that's what we're going to do gonna stick to the guns Then we'll come back and um, there we go. put some alcohol rub in here. Right here, we're gonna clean that area up. Get some tea. You might be able to use two pads, who knows? One and then two. Yeah, two will fit actually this. So there we go, two pads. So let me clean this guy real quick, this area here where we're gonna mount it at. With some good old alcohol. I was just speaking with Larry Lee last night and we were thinking of maybe doing the trunk together as a do it video together. That way show you guys the new version two, I mean version three now uh, from uh, Hanshaw. So we'll see how today goes because I know he's time limit crunch as well as well as myself. So if we could do it together, we would. Let's see here. I almost sound like him, huh? Let's see here. <laughs> you watch the guy so often, you start mimicking his voice. <clears throat> here we go. He doesn't say like me though. I must say, it, here we go so many times. There's certain phrases that people say, you'll catch it on their video a lot because they'll use it so often and they don't realize it themselves. Uh, I guess some of my phrases you guys probably know too. You know, I should have left this open. The reason why is I can always come back to the bowl. Well, it's gonna cover it anyway. So I really can't do much. I'm not sure you guys can see it. What I'm doing, there we go, you guys can. That's where I'm at right now. Just putting adhesive on. I guess I figured go to the edge as possible is better. Not too far out, but enough. And adhesive will work regardless of which aesthetic <laughs> so I still try to label it accordingly. I actually went upside down. This says automatic trunk this way. The leather is facing this way and my 3M is facing down. Oh well, maybe I can still peel it off. Yeah, these things are strong. You cannot peel them off. 
So that's all right. I'll live with it. I'll live with it. <laughs> so anyway, so there it goes. Automatic front. Uh, I probably want to put it in a way where I can actually read it. So if I'm facing, I'm coming to this side of the car, I might want to put it this way. Um, actually, that is the best way too because <coughs> you can get your power here and the front struts can go over there. <coughs> or you can put it this way. If you want it lesser, um, you know, bushels of wires here coming in. It depends. I think it might be just best. I'll do what Larry Lee does. He puts it right here. So let's go and peel it off. See, I'm not that confident yet, so take me for a grain of salt. Uh, as far as these little details of what I'm doing, you guys can figure which one was effective and which one was just non cynical ah, There we go. This thing's really strong, good adhesive tape. You know, I doubted it because I thought maybe I'd need something stronger, but it was just the way the, the surface wasn't flat and this one isn't flat either so I'm gonna have some trouble here as well so I'll probably trap some dirt and stick on some but we'll do what we can all right, all right see there we go want to make sure I got an angle where I can actually put things as well oh, it's starting to stick already it's good stuff very good stuff so this right here might be blocked by the, the bolt, so I don't want to do that. Let's kind of get an idea where things can be cleared. Then they can feed through, through some. There it goes. See, I can put the bolt right here, put it through between. That way, just in case that bolt interferes, it's not going to interfere with my thing. Wow. This, this is. See, this one right here can be a little bit more sturdier. Yeah. I think that second adhesive didn't do that much good for us. Let me see if I can scoot it some more. Somewhere. Somewhere where I feel it's more. Oh, there you go. You got, you got, definitely want to get away from all the bolts. So this is the best. Even though it's leaning outward a little bit. But that's the best way to do it. Because you want to get more surface coverage for the adhesive to stick. And I'll show you exactly once I get it all. Because that's what happened to us last time. All right. The adhesive is just going to cause it from not shifting. That's all a little bit. So what's really going to hold is going to be our tie strap. So let me bring the tie strap out. Yeah, I mean, I can use these long ones here. Uh, you can use two of this, the ones that come with it. But you can see here where the bolt is. I got a bolt in this corner here. And then I got a bolt in this corner. Cool. Now what I'm gonna do is slide my little thing here and then bring it back. You, there's even a little place for you to be able to fit your, if you really wanna be cool, you know? I think I wanna be cool, so. Let me see if I can try to get into this little area. I might, there you go, oh. <laughs> Come on, there it goes, a little, a little pressure. Pull it, and you know what? Just my luck, I put it the wrong way. These things are so fat that you cannot twist it while it's in the ground, especially so. Let me twist it around like this. Turn it around, just my luck. It's okay, we'll do it again. Doesn't seem too bad. That way it looks like it's factory, you know? I always like to do things to make it look like it's part of it. Sometimes I go overboard and make it look tacky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. There we go. One pull does it all. All right, so let's go ahead and lay it again. So the bolts are scraping the unit a little bit, but it's okay. We'll live. And maybe I think that's the reason why Larry Lee didn't actually um, put the, the wires. So maybe what we're going to do is we're tie strap a lot. Wait until we plug in all the cords. Because if I do this right now, I'm probably going to block quite a bit of few stuff here. And we don't want that. So let's go and bring all the areas to be plugged in. Um, these struts are universal, so you can either put it, any one of these will be fine. Um, but preferably, I could say, you know, if it's the right one, put it right here. Or if it's the left one, put it right there. It doesn't really matter, whichever you're comfortable with. So we're gonna go ahead and bring, this guy's is the most easiest one, because he's so near us. So I'll go and work on him. You guys can see me here. This is the struts what I'm talking about. So. Go ahead and put this down for a second. 
almost there, almost there, taking our time. This is probably what's going to take the most time, as well as adjusting the latch. Hopefully we get lucky and it works on the first try, but if it doesn't, you know what I mean? It's not going to kill us to play around with it more. So how would we loop this? We could open this guy up right here. And this one you can use your fingernail. I'm not sure. Like I said, Tesla can make things really toolless. So you can just use your fingernail, come up a little bit if you have strong fingernails. So you don't, just go get a plier tool. Let's see here. See, it won't come off. It's interlocked with this guy here. So I guess my fingers ain't that strong as I thought. It's good for picking other things. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, come on. Okay, let me go and get some plastic or fiber. Really, if you want to use a plastic tool, but if you do it carefully, you should be able to get, get away with this. This See that right there, just lift. Be careful, you don't want to pluck anything else out. There we go. I got the whole thing out. You normally just pop it out and usually it comes out, but you don't need to get the whole thing out like I just did there. All right, and that's it. You just want to run this wire through it underneath it, make it look neat. And maybe, like I am a clean freak, see something dirty right away, just get my clean cloth. Just wipe some of this water stain left over from, like I said, the bad PPF insulation in Tracy, California. I'm not going to mention their name, but you'll probably figure out through Yelp. Look at that. Just left it everywhere. If they just use uh, a cleaner slip solution, just like baby shampoo and... Uh, some water that would have been more cost effective for them as well as more effective for uh, cleaning up and it works just as good that's pretty much what PFS uses that's what they, they're very informative they tell me okay so the struts are here it's gonna go underneath this it's gonna look super fabulous it's coming in through here and is it? We could probably even hide the bundle wires in here, really, to be honest with you. We don't need to bring this much wires out in the open. But I don't want to, if you look at down here, you can almost see the axle of the car right there. I mean, the what do you call them? Boot axle of the car. So I just don't want to get jammed in any of these kind of pressure points. So we want to probably leave the wires, you know, protected out here and uh, jammed in there. We could hide it very nicely in there, but preferably not. So we're just going to go and put this boot back in here. Clean this guy up real quick. Get a little bit more cleaner. Larry Lee's wondering why I haven't called him yet to make arrangement. This is probably a reason. I'm still working on the front. I think it's worth it to actually have Larry show me. That way I get a full hands-on experience to do it. Because he said he'll train me further on the front. Because there's some things you cannot cheat experience wise so let me go ahead and put this over okay so what it is is it interlocks when this like pulls in it widens this gap and it makes it sort of like spreading like a sheetrock you know like a thing where you drive it in and it all of a sudden spits out and it makes it like an interlock where it can't pull back up top so that's what it's doing you can see here it's narrow like this but the minute this gets pushed in it widens it up it's almost like a, a teeth the spread so that's what happens how it interlocks to that and then you just push back in that's what i love about tesla it's just everything snap on okay so we got that one right there all that just to show you that huh <laughs> i'm not sure it's almost so close to here so we might as well start bundling it somewhere right here uh, but we can plug it in right now so let's do that. Have to bring this back over here in this area. That way you can see from a longer view. And we'll do the same thing to the other side shortly. Woohoo! I'm excited. Um, should we put this on the second slot? We might. I think we better. That way we can serve this uh, first slot. Well, no, because the other one's gonna be running through here. It'll fall on the second one better. So this one should go in the first one. Again, it's just for aesthetic. You can do it either one. The blue one, they're all the same. So they're universal. Should I go this, carry this over a little bit over here? Or? Just try to hide the wire as much as possible. 
There we go. This looks way better. Okay, we can go underneath this. This is for the fireman to be able to cut the wires in case there's an emergency. He needs to cut power. Right there. Cut power. It's not like from the Tony Stark movies, let's say. I'm not sure they said it, but I think it's... All right, let me take these guys out of the way for a second. All right. Yeah, we can start bundling the wires now around this area. Um, like a little bit more over here, actually. So I'll start bundling it right now here. And this is probably where you can use the bigger, uh, medium-sized tie strap, not the small ones. So the ones that they give me is perfect. This one right here. Use medium sized one. There's enough strength. You don't want to use a small one. These things might break. Small ones might just jam up and break on you. There we go. And then we'll just shove it in there. But this looks pretty awesome. Yeah. If I rush this, I could have got done way quicker. But you guys wouldn't get the, the detail of the gist of things. So I'll sacrifice my time. If you're willing to sacrifice yours, we'll both get something done great together again I'd like to make it a perfect eight if possible <laughs> uh, I'm telling you I have a weird disease of trying to get things exactly perfect and they're never gonna be that way so I just wasted a tie strap <laughs> just trying to go backwards now I should have waited let me cut this guy out Still trying to use a scissor to cut it, but this actually cut okay. All right, so let's do this the right way. Wind it. Am I doing it right? Who knows? I'm trying to try to keep the pattern traced. You don't want to make too small because it might create some induction in the wires. You're not trying to create an induction coil here, so be careful winding it so small. And if you don't need to, wind it big as you can. That's with any kind of electrical wires, it creates an induction field. Um, what causes a little bit more uh, resistance or current than you really want to impose on the devices, so you don't want to really, it, this thing's not gonna really create like a bunch, of, you need like a tremendous amount of coil for it to do that, so don't mind what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just saying it might be possible. Uh, anyway, I went back to where it was, but it looks a little bit neater, right, from before. So, I'll accept this one though. And let's see if I can drop it. I might be able to drop it. I just don't want it to get heated up, so I might not want to drop it, like, like right there, right there. So I'll probably just drop it like, so this is probably where I'm gonna have it at. Okay, let's go and get that other medium. Eye strap. I know I could save room and maybe have this. And if I was being built per hour, you guys probably wouldn't want to use me. <laughs> I take my time. Oh, just do it really nice. So yeah, just that's all I wanted it was the look. It wouldn't matter, it still hold the wire just as nicely. I wired the perfect number eight, sort of. Okay, so let's go and cut it now because we probably won't be able to get a chance to. There we go. Once it's tucked in here anyway, so I'm gonna find out if I gave it enough. Or I give too little, too little, too much. The reason why is I just don't want the wires to um, go anywhere where it's not supposed to. There you go, look, perfect. Uh, because I don't want it to touch anything hot. You know, I'm not sure some of these engine parts do get hot, so that's why I'm very careful. So we are gonna connect it to the very forefront corner here. So let's see. I really don't give myself any slack, do I? <laughs> but luckily I can still tilt this and pull it. So let's go ahead and start with this guy first. There we go. 
Let's start with the second one. a lot more slack there you go just enough slack for it not to reach anything hot that's what i'm afraid of so keep it away from all these like i'm not sure this is might be an ac unit area so it might not even get hot anyway but i just get paranoid so just tie it neatly take your time you can see here how my bushels are they run from right here they come in they go right there and they come right in so there you go and now we're wearing the next one right so there it goes that's the next one over there so we can do all the common ones that we know of. And then we'll start connecting the battery pack. I mean, the power to the unit as well as the ground. And then joining these other ones. So, and the rest is just mainly just, uh, hopefully we don't have to adjust too much to the latch. But everything else, I think estimated wise, we should be probably done in the next 20 minutes if we get going. So I know people could probably do this in 20 minutes, the whole setup. But then again, they did it before, right? Once you run the track, you know exactly where you're going. Then it should be a problem. This one is actually we're trying to figure as we go. Uh, we're gonna go and take this one off. Same way. We're gonna pop it. I'm not sure you can see it yet. There we go. Same thing. This one didn't come all the way off. Oh, it still does. Ah. You know, you gotta have that, right? In order to make your life difficult. I fell right through the cracks here. Now I just gotta go find it. And you know it's not magnet. And my chair is running away. Give me one second. I caught it when I saw it slow motion coming down, but I figured, you know what? It's gonna land somewhere where I can easily grab it. And lo and behold, it fell right in through here. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can even spot it. Wow, there's a lot of cracks here. really much just what I need oh I think I see it if I can see at least I can know where to aim for right but I don't think it's that let me see all the it just slip slope just came over it might ricochet and bounce somewhere else too Oh, a little detour. Darn it. I could have just did it the right way and kept it there safely and securely. But I decided to pop it up and let... Oh, this one came loose. This one should have been poked through here. Uh, let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? We can... I guess when we ever find it or take off the... The bottom level here, we could probably get it underneath it. I'm sure it fell way underneath it, so let me try grab it something real quick, maybe vacuum it, and hopefully it sucks out 